Fee-fi-fo-fum. It's time for another fucking video, isn't it? Right. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about the three different phases of play. These have all got fancy names, but I'm just going to call them first, second, and third. And we're going to be looking at first first phase play now, which is um, tradi which is basically your build up. And what you're going to be so what we've got here is we've got a four three three press coming at us. So we've got this line of pressure here, which is what we're trying to beat, and it's narrow. And the reason it's narrow is because it's occupying um, three areas, right? It's occupying three zones. If this seven was out here, we'd beat the press with one pass. So these guys, the, the first line of pressure, have, have got to be tight and they've got to be in their areas. And ideally, you'd want them on a diagonal, but we can talk about that later. The midfielders here are being man-marked, so this is all pretty standard. And then this, this here is the interesting bit. So depending on the type of team you are, the type of players you have, the role of the fullbacks here... Um, Ideally, for the attacking team, you'd want the fullbacks, you'd want the fullbacks like this, and our inside forwards have compressed the pitch, and you can see that we've got a lot to work with in the wide areas. But that's not always the case, and with the better teams, these fullbacks sometimes will be well ahead, um, but will be in a position where they can do something called screening, which is to use their cover shadow to block passes here. And be able to jump, uh, jump out to the full back here. That means they can win the ball higher up the pitch. So there's quite a lot of dangers here. And what we have done is that we have occupied with our goalkeeper all of the five zones, and we're on different levels. That's really important because that gives us this curve, and that that curve or like that sort of bell shape. Um, it's not a bell shape, but whatever. Um, it means that we're able to play out without taking huge amounts of risk um, because there's always a pass. The players are supporting. And if you're technically secure and everyone's got the right body shape and concentrated, it's very difficult to, um, to win the ball back um, when you have a curve like that. And so eventually what, you, what the standard thing you'll see is you'll see a full back with the ball and he'll make a pass inside behind the first line of behind the first line of pressure and that is phase 1 completed easy so then we move into phase 2 second phase which is sometimes called the progression phase so um this is this takes place in the sort of middle third around here and it's about getting it's about getting the ball up the pitch, your defensive structures, all that kind of stuff. But you can see here, right, that we've got a little bit of a problem. Okay, so we've got the two centre backs here. This is a, the, uh, the other team have gone into a four-one-four-one block, and um, we've got a triangle here. The 7 and the 11 are going to be the guys that come out and help the 9. And um, the 6, 8 and 10 are basically going to stay here with the 6 sweeping in between the lines. And whilst this is technically secure, um, you'll have seen this from United quite a lot over the years. We'll pass the ball, like pressure will get put on this guy here, cutting that pass off. The 9 will cut off the 6, like... People step up like that. There's no real pass. So we go across. Seven goes in. Nine goes across. Eleven comes. Blah, blah, blah. You've seen this. And it's and whilst it's secure, it's really slow. And we don't get a lot of penetration. We used to get penetration from Martinez making that ball. But it doesn't happen anymore. So how do we like be able to get up the pitch whilst being secure? Well, we want to look for that curve again but this time um we we can't really involve our keeper too much like we, we can maybe get him to about here but it's it's not something you want to do so what we're looking for is um we're looking for three three players to be central 
sorry, I mean, we're looking for three players across this line here. So, a fullback will normally come in, make this line, and then the player out here will go wind. These two will stay the same, and once again, we get the curve, which which is really really important. And um, we've got every we've got pretty much every area occupied, and depending on which side the ball goes. So if the ball goes this side, you'll get you'll get movements like this from the eight and the ten to um, uh, to basically keep keep players in the centre of the pitch. But this this is what we get where everything is occupied and we're able to go into third phase play. But sometimes, um, just sometimes you'll get this with Ten Hag. Um, you will get someone like Ericsson or Bruno dropping into this position here. You'll get Delo or wan coming in. Like These are the rotations that people talk about. But what's really important is we often talk about this 3-1 structure here, but it's not. that's not really what it is. What, what it is is um, a sort of a 5-1 because we can't we, we can't really sort of control the ball and threaten without these um, these wide players coming in all right and then um, third phase play so this is uh, this is sometimes called creation I think third phase play is really simple okay what we're trying to do is we're trying to occupy every single one of these zone of these wide zones here so you will have two players out wide you'll have one central you'll have one in the half space let's put you'll have bruno in the other half space and this obviously means it's low block time so this team is going to be is going to want to be as compact as possible um so they're going to be like this and like look if you remember when we talked about the rest defence, this here is their resting attack that is going to look to hit the wide areas. Um, but with these players here, we're going to have to form a rest defence. So what you would normally see is this. And you want, um, you want these players... Sorry... You want this, these two lines to be as close to each other as possible because what we don't want is this. We do not want their resting attack for transitions in between these lines. So we want that line, we want this line here to be as tight as possible and we want that line there to be as tight as possible. So we will often find the um, pitch squeezed as high as this. Um... And you can see how congested it is, and that's why we need players in the wide areas. And then from here, this is where your rotations start. Um, so, you know, oh, fuck it. Like, if the four runs there um, and the seven runs out here, the three's got to come back into the resting defence and so on. But these, this is just very quickly what the stages of play are. There's a lot more to it in terms of individual tactics and stuff, but what you are always looking for... Um, at all phases is your curve because that means that you can recycle the ball out without re without having to make amazing passes and stuff like that and it tires the team out this is pretty much um, one of the things that Brighton did to us um, is that they moved us side from side using that curve tiring us out so when we talk about the phases of play those are the phases of play enjoy um, and if you have any comments like, let me know.